Dave's under, folks. He's under. Tenth one, unsuccessful. Or it's Singapore, Johor Bahru, or... I'm just bought a boat. Really, I need to get my boat from Thailand to Malaysia, and Marcus needs to get from Malaysia to Borneo. All right, so now that the plan is to bicycle up to Thailand... Um... Selamat tinggal, Malaysia. Sampai jumpa lagi. Sawat di krap, Thailand. Tata ni da krap. So it's my first full day of cycling in Thailand and I just managed to dodge out of this rain. Barely got wet. I did lose pavement for a bit there so my bike is pretty dirty but most of my stuff is still dry. And I don't have really good waterproof canyons so I sort of have to avoid the rain unless I want some wet clothing. Uh, I have a dry bag for all my like electronics and stuff so that stays dry but sometimes my clothing gets wet if I forward a bicycle in this. Uh, when, when this rain first started falling, you could see the just all the steam from how hot the road was and the rain just started sort of instantly evaporating off the road. Pretty cool. You can still sort of see it a bit, just a bit. Anyways, I just stopped here and I'm having a ice cafe. Nice to be back on the ocean. That's the South China Sea. On the east coast of Thailand. These are the waters that I'll eventually be sailing towards Borneo. But I still have another 800 kilometers or so to go north up this coast. With some brief uh, trips inland. But then, uh, yeah. I'll uh, mostly be on the coast, I think. Uh, <laughs> Look at these boats. Beauties. Sound <laughs> Hello! How are you? How are you? Hello! Hello! How are you? Nice bike! <laughs> That's an awesome bike! Better than mine! <laughs> hmm? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> Beautiful morning to ride. As a touring cyclist, or as a cyclist in general, I really love paved and empty roads but I also feel like they're unnecessary and that if a road has no cars or motorcycles on it or bicycles for that matter then it should just not be paved or it should not even exist nah okay I understand roads need to exist but they don't need to waste millions of dollars on paving them if nobody's using them one thing though that I really love to see is, oh, you can't even see them now because it's behind the trees. There it is, those beautiful things. Wherever there's wind, we should be generating electricity with the wind windmill, wind turbine. The reasons to not have them are very few. You hear about some birds getting killed in them, but I think that issue is very small compared to the benefits of them. There's busy traffic on the road today. Hello. Hello.
lunch spot. <sighs> it's just been a really hot day on this highway. Got a late start because it was raining first thing in the morning and I slept in a bit. Yeah, just been rolling along this highway all day. I think I've gone about uh, maybe 90 kilometers and plan on going another 50 more. Poor little guys. Where's your mama go? Where's your mama? You stay back there, okay? Oh, I wish I could take you. Poor little guys. Oh. Where's your mama? So, Thailand is awesome. So, dig it up. So I just uh, I just stopped to fly my drone beside a temple and as I was getting the drone out some guy bicycled by and grabbed all my money out of my wallet and I saw him do it like I was 10 feet away from it and it's just like in the middle of nowhere on the side of the road. I was like what did he just grab straight out of my because I didn't quite see him do it. I saw it like out of the corner of my eye and went and grabbed it and then he was like some like I don't know not well off guy. Bit of a drunk topless type of dude beach bum. And uh, I went and grabbed the money out of his hand because he had it in his hand like he didn't try to hide it when I like went and ran over to him and then he offered to give me his hat, a little white hat that I really didn't want. I was like, no man, like hey, you, like maybe I should call the police or something. And of course I wasn't going to do that. As I was doing that, some kids walked by and I was like, yeah, that guy just tried to rob me, eh? And he's like, I'm like, oh yeah. They shouted at him or something, but he'd already biked away. And then I went to fly my drone and the kids came and watched me fly it. And then he, he biked by again as I was flying my drone. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. And then I went down the road as I was flying the drone and I stopped to catch it. And some people came over and like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's a camera, see? And I showed on my phone what I was filming and uh, saw them in the camera. And then she's like, how much does that cost? And I was like, I was about to say that it cost about as much as her motorbike, but I didn't really know how to say that because my tie is still really rough. And then she offered to give me some water. So I got some fresh water all in uh, 15 minutes. Uh, it's time to get cycling again. We got some cloud cover, so it's a pretty nice ride. And I've been mostly beside the beach all day. This is sort of the busier road. It's been, I was on a early morning for like two hours. There's just no cars, it's so nice. Yeah, gotta keep going, okay. Bye. Coming up on the guy who stole my money. He's still biking along here. Cause I stopped to film, he has continued. <laughs> He's probably pretty concerned. <laughs> oh boy. This is what I like to see. Whoa. So I decided to stay uh, a day here in Nakon Si Prama Et. Nakon Pra Siema. I don't even know the name of this town, it's sort of difficult to nail down. I was just really tired last night and tired when I woke up this morning, so I decided to spend another day and cruise. There's a bunch of temples and stuff to see along the way, and I have to do some computer stuff, so I'm just cruising through the city now. Pretty bustling little city, lots of people here, and lots of temples. It's sort of like a crossroads city, but it goes back thousands and thousands of years. 
bunch of different cultures have lived here. Now I'm just at one of the temples here, very colorful. I'm on my way to the famous Wat, the big famous temple here, which to tell you the truth, none of this stuff made my decision to stay here because it's just more and more temples, stuff that I've seen a lot of. I'm more interested in meeting some of the local people, which I have a bit. I also gotta nail down my, my tie still. My tie is horrible. I don't even know my numbers that well. 